The day BBC VPN stopped working. It was a sad day for many when the BBC started blocking VPNs. Many expat communities took it particularly hard. They relied on them to access UK television. Although not all the VPNs were blocked, I want to show you an alternative. Just watch this video. Okay, so a lot of people use VPNs. I'm going to show you a quick alternative and something I think you might be impressed with. Okay, I'm going to show you Smart DNS. It's like a VPN without the encryption, if you like. First of all, how to set it up. It's dead easy. Go to your control panel. Um, this is on Windows 7, but it'd be a similar place. Network Sharing Center, Local Area Connection, Properties, go to TCP IP version 4 and Properties there. And you see here there's two DNS servers. Put in your two Smart DNS servers into those boxes. That's all you do. You get those from the Smart DNS subscription uh, service that you, you take out. They're usually quite a lot cheaper than VPNs, remember. Okay, so you stick them in there. And you OK, OK, OK. Put them in any device. Go onto your games console, um, media streamers, tablets, smartphone, doesn't matter. Showing you on the PC, Mac, it's OK. And that has basically Smart DNS enabled my um, PC. So this PC can now watch virtually anything. So, for instance, let me go to iPlayer. Uh, let's watch something on iPlayer. Louis Theroux. I'll just start it here. There we go. And iPlayer works. Okay. Right, let's try something else. Let's try NBC. NBC is uh, obviously an American station. Uh, that's only available in the US, but I've got Smart DNS enabled on this computer. So let me just click. At this point, you would get the message, sorry, this is not available in your thing. Here we go. We can watch NBC. So I've got BBC, NBC, and another good thing. Let me just show you. Um, Here's a useful site. It's an Indian media site. You might not be into Indian media sites, but the great thing is it's got loads of, if you're into sports, it's got loads of cricket and premiership football it had on last year. Um, normally restricted to India, but not if you've got Smart DNS enabled. And there we go. Click. Give it a second. This is from India on my very slow internet connection. And there we go. You see, now this is normally um, India only. So on a normal PC, if you go to hostar.com, you'll get blocked there. You'll say it's not available in your country. So there's three sites. There's loads more. Um, I can go to sites all over Europe, all over America, all over the UK, from wherever I am. Is it better than the BBC iPlayer VPN? Hell yes. Um, you set it up once. You don't need to reconnect it each time. It doesn't apply any security so if you need security and need decryption you still need a VPN um, but for watching media sites um, it's it can't be beat okay thanks for watching smart DNS services are cheaper than VPNs and quicker try one out on any device you like you can find a free trial at http dnsproxy.co.uk